by the toe zone. The toe zone layer. This is the toe zone. Luckily, my cars are working right now, so I don't need to visit the toe zone. Hoping none of my cars enter the toe zone. Because that's no fun. Man, this Fiesta ST definitely needs a wash. The wheels look matte. They're so dirty. So, I just packed up the car and uh, got my... This isn't all my tools, of course, but got my uh, wrench and uh, ratchet set. A few Torx bits, a little uh, set here, a triple square set, which is good for Volkswagens, Audis, and some pry tools. Battery jumper box. This is the battery jumper box for the giveaway. You know the details on that. Look down in the description box below. Let's get to work. So we're off in the utility Fiesta. You see, I got all my uh, tools in the back like it's a panel van or something, but really you can actually fit quite a few things in this car with the seats back. Now, our job for today is to remove the seat belts out of the Audi S3. Now, it shouldn't be too tough of a job. Uh, I, I don't know exactly. There could be a few hiccups here and there, but basically you gotta take all the trim off the sides, like right here. I, don't, I hope you can see this. Or on the other side, this car is pretty small, so you should be able to see it. Take all the trim out, unbolt the seat belts. They come out with a few bolts. And I'm going to take them out completely. You can fix them yourself. Basically, in an accident, uh, the, the collision computer tells the airbags to lock up. And I saw a video, and I'm, I'm guessing some of the systems are different, but it, it releases kind of a few uh, pins into the gear mechanism to lock the seatbelt up to keep you from going any more forward than you're already moving. When we get to the shop, I'm going to show you how all the seatbelts are locked in place. Unfortunately, it locked all four seatbelts, the two rear, the two fronts, which is a kind of a headache. Uh, it's, it's more than I think necessary, in my opinion. You know, we're going to have to work with what we've got. And uh, I'm going to personally take these and ship them off to a company to get them rebuilt because I want to make sure that it is done 100%. And if there were to ever be another accident in the car, they work 100%. I do trust myself to do good work, but you never know. Uh, these, these companies do these daily. They do dozens of them daily. So I think it's better off to get them rebuilt. Now, the repair cost for a seatbelt, it's about $40 per module in the seatbelt. Again, when I pull the seatbelts out, I'll show you. This car is about as simple as it gets. This car has one module per seatbelt. Now, I believe there was only one person in this car because the only airbag that went off in the Fiesta that I'm driving is the knee airbag. I replaced it with a 100% original Ford part. This seatbelt was locked up. That seatbelt was not locked up. Again, about as simple as it gets. This had one module in it. Cost about $40 to have it repaired. Pretty inexpensive, uh, figuring that they do a good job. The Audi will likely be the same as the Jetta GLI in the front. Each seatbelt has two modules, so that's $40 per module, and both front uh, seatbelts locked up. That's 40, 40, 40, 40, 160 just for the fronts. The rears, I'm not quite sure. They might have one module, they might have two modules. I've heard of Mercedes products sometimes having up to four modules per seatbelt. So we're going to get there. We're going to set up. I'm going to show you exactly what happens. And this is an overlooked cost when you're doing your first uh, rebuild project. If you ever buy a rebuilder that has an airbag deployed, I can almost guarantee you if it's a modern car, you know, 2000 and newer, you're going to have a seatbelt that got locked up. Let's check back in when we get to the shop. All right, it's kind of dark in here, but you can see. See the seatbelt is sitting straight forward if I try and pull it up. And look, see, I'm pulling on it. It's completely stuck, okay? That's because the uh, airbag computer sent a signal in the accent to lock it up and make sure nobody moves. I'll show you the back. 
See this back one is completely locked solid against this. See I'm pulling as hard as I can. It doesn't come out. And same thing right here, except the difference is somebody was wearing the seatbelt. So there's slack to it, but see, it's completely locked in place. Doesn't move. All right, so our job here is to remove this trim panel all the way down. It bolts into the floor there, very similar to the Jetta. We'll be able to move the seat out of the way because the power seats work in this car. And uh, let's get started. Don't stop now. Reaching for a distant star. Don't stop now. Isn't it strange to how we're safe and home? To the neck out in days until the second go. I'm getting somewhere. Let me show you. So this has to come up first, which then releases some pressure off of all this. Then I should be able to get up here, take it down. But yeah, on the other side, I started up here, totally stuck. So let's see if I can get somewhere doing this. So I'm pretty sweaty, it's hot out here. This is the aftermath of our job today. See all the trim has been removed and the seatbelts in the front have been taken out. All right, well, I would say we had a uh, semi-successful day here. Got the front two seatbelts out. The rear two I'm gonna do a little bit more research on before I start tearing those out because you don't really wanna break stuff um, I did have one casualty. Now that I'm at a stoplight, I'll show you. If you look at this piece right here, did a nice crack job right there. Uh, this sucks, because these usually aren't cheap. However, could be worse. Um, it does happen when you're prying out. I, if you look in the video, I use orange plastic pry tools. Those help a lot. You break a lot less stuff using those, and they're very inexpensive because they're made out of plastic. So I highly recommend those uh, plastic pry tools. They do everything from helping to pop the wiring harnesses out of uh, uh, wiring harnesses where they're, they're uh, secured and fastened to, to popping out this plastic trim like you saw in here. Now, the interesting thing that uh, I learned doing this at one point underneath the seat, you'll have seen I lifted up the seats to take one uh, more piece out underneath the carpet. And actually, that piece was associated along with the seatbelt. I never knew that. This is the first time I've taken one out like that. I called the company that does the uh, seatbelts, and I was wondering, you know, I got a cord running down the seat. They said that those are uh, a, th a third uh, or tri-stage seatbelt. So a tri-stage means now not one, not two, but three modules, like I talked for, uh, about before I, we got to the shop. Uh, I've done one stage, I've done two stage, now these are three stage, which is uh, not fun because it's another 40 or $50. So we could be looking at $300 just to repair the front two seatbelts. We're not even talking about the rears yet. This could easily be a $500 bill. I don't know exactly uh, how many of those or how many stage seatbelt the rear ones are. Like I said, I've got a manual at home. I'm going to go through it. Hopefully it will help me figure out how to remove the, the rear seats. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. It's starting to rain outside and I hope you learned something as well. Uh, try stage seatbelts. Like I mentioned that they've got a three or four stage seatbelt. I've heard of it. Now we've experienced it. We'll go back. We'll get the rear ones out, ship them to the repair company. That'll be one more step done on the, the uh, S3. The last and only thing after they get the body work done is to take the headliner out. It doesn't look much different than the Jetta's and I just did that one. It didn't take me more than an hour. 
and uh, we'll get that one knocked out. So all we need to do is take the headliner down to replace the curtain airbag, take the seat out to replace the side seat airbag, and we'll be done. Anyway, don't forget to enter the tool giveaway in the description box below. Check out my other videos. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Hopefully we'll be driving the S3 in no time.